Well, here we are. Welcome back to Fishing Off the Hook. Thanks for watching. And we're here at our usual spot, Monument Lake. You'll see this lake a lot in our videos. And today we're going to do a little trial test. It's going to be Strike King Bitsy Minnow. See that? And that's a uh, chartreuse blueback versus this brown crawdad rebel we are. And we're doing a lure um, examination on these. So we're going to see which one works better. And we have had luck with the bitsy minnow here before with both trout and bass. So, but I've never used this one before. I've never used this rebel craw or rebel brown crawdad, I guess it's called. So we're going to cast in. See if we get some on the first couple casts. It is raining right now, so I may have to shut the camera down in a minute to keep it safe. Feels like it has a lot of action. Run straight, first cast. That's always a good thing. Oh, that. Yeah, see that's totally, do you see that in the water? That looks just like a fish. That's gotta work. I think I'll try a faster retrieve though, because this thing is a little bit of a slow wag on it. So I'm gonna try a faster retrieve and see if I get one. Okay, so I just had a hit and he got off and it was a little sunfish. So I wanted to try this spot again. I have varied my retrieve to get it faster and it worked. So I wanted to try this spot again on video. See if I get one. They are known to hit twice. See, there's one. Ooh, yes. There's your video. That's a nice trout. Is that a, yeah, that's a nice trout. Like a pound probably. So that's two for the Rebel We Are, and one over there for Ryan for the Strike King. He caught a bass over there in that spot I was telling you about. Almost got you out. There you are. Oh yeah, look at that fishy. Look at that fishy. There he goes. So that's two trout on this thing, believe it or not. And it looked like a sunfish I had on before. So it does work. This is the Rebel We Are Brown Crawdad. See that? Is that another fish? Yep, there's another one. Look at that. Look at this lure. Trout killer today. There's another trout. See that? That's smaller one, but look at that. He's nice. He's good. Don't hook yourself again. Look at that guy. Oh yeah, he's good. He's nice. So this is a hot spot, so I'm gonna stay here for a minute. Do I have one yet? Two casts in a row, that was fun. Decent. Let's see the grasshopper. Is that the Bass Pro Shop one? It's one of them. Watch your lure. Or is that the cricket? Oh, that's the cricket one. Yeah. Hold that. That's a good one. I knew that would work. That's there's a big one. Look at that trout. Yep. There's the there you go. fly you like. It's like hey, a cricket or something. Yep. Right? Yep. That's good. There he goes. Yeah, trout are fun. That's one. There you yeah, go. Yeah, there you go. Look at these trout. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Nice. He totally went for that. That's Ooh, a, they like this, right? They like this brown crawdad rebel. See, so... Oh, okay, he's off. Even easier. Now I don't have to unhook him. You saw the fish? Good size one. Whenever you find the trout with this thing, it does work here, I guess. I'm very surprised. I'm proud of this lure. So I guess this one's the trout lure and that one's for bass because he only caught one bass and we always catch bass on that, but I guess this is not bass time of day. It's because he's got a, a light colored one on. I'm sure the bass like that one better. And this one's totally, I'm only catching trout on this all day. What are you putting on, Rye? Cricket? So he's giving up on the bitsy minnow. Now, as an overview, this one does work very well for trout, apparently, this color. And 
I'd highly recommend picking one up. I do love trying out new lures, all, all kinds. So, I'll almost always take you up on your offer. So, I'm gonna head back.